G'day guys, Carlos Mamigo Travel. Today, we're in the garage, we're with the patrol. Exciting day. Bull bar has finally arrived. It's an off-road animal bar. We'll unwrap everything. We've got a box of bits, I've got no idea what goes where. All right, that's it, unwrapped. So, plenty of bolstering through the wings. All the wings look to be about, I don't know, three mil. Winch cradle sits at the bottom of the bar. Big opening. Oh, this is got to put light in. Looks pretty good, to be honest. I can't wait to see this thing on. We've got everything unwrapped. There are a heap of parts, but they're always useful, but. Right? Box full of bolts, plenty of bolts. Oh, the front little bash guard. Now, this does seem a little bit daunting. There is a lot of steps. 63 pages of steps to be exact. The first step is getting this front stripped apart. So we'll pull it all apart and I'll show you the major steps along the way. It's coming along. So, when you pull the bumper off, you gotta pull the fog lights out the back. There's a wiring harness that goes across the front for the um, sensors. And then you've got the headlight washers. So all the brackets that actually clip into the bracket to the bumper, you've got to cut them off because you've got to reuse them. So that's a bit painful. But the bracket that went across here, where my old spotlights were mounted, I was originally just going to remove the whole lot of it. But as it turns out, it actually secures the bottom of the headlight. So what I'm going to do, I'll just modify it. I'll hit it with a grinder. Line up with two little pieces. We'll bolt in place and it should hold everything in place where it needs to be. All right, so that's my modification. I just cut the plate that went across, cut that out. All right, so... All the bolts have been loosely fit through the recovery points, the bull bar mounting brackets. We'll leave all them loose. Now we'll get all these flashings fit to the bull bar, for the lights, all the sensor brackets, all that stuff. We'll get all that in place. So I've got it on, aligned, bolted up. It actually sits really nicely with the front of the car. The white sensors, I'll have to paint them, I think, because that looks a bit out of place. <laughs> Nice big gap, easy to get the winch in, so might fit that up tonight. So I've got a little bit going on. Drilled a couple extra holes for spotlights, need to realign them. While we've got this big opening, we're going to put the winch in. So I will actually do a video on this winch itself. So this is a new fiery red winch from Vic Off Road. Morning guys, day two. So we're going to finish off the bar today. So we've got a few little things we need to tidy up. So we've got to cut the inner guards, get all them cut and tidied. Nut suits are sticking out, cut them, tidy them. Get the wing guards under. We'll put some plasti dip on these little bits of the white sensors and the um, windscreen washers. What else we got to do? Oh, we got to wire the winch. Don't mind that out of the way. So the winch is in there. Number plate flipper. A bloody tidy looking winch too. So yeah, we got all that wired up out of the way. Got the spotlight sorted out last night. Overall, I think it's looking good. I'm liking it. All right, so we got all the wing guards in place, um, cut the flaps, exposed all the tires. So it gives a heaps of clearance under the car, like opens the front right up. We just put the finishing touches on the bar. The headlight washers, I'm gonna paint or plasti dip the tops of them. The sensors, I'm not gonna worry about the sensors. I don't think they look too bad. The four little white dots, so I'll leave them. Just got some of this plasti dip. Just went and got some from um, Super Cheap, so I've got it. And of course, painting is not my specialty, so see how we go. One thing you notice is it opens the front of the car, opens it right up, opens up the wheel arches. I personally think it is a great looking bar. I love all the little detailed like mesh grills in it. Obviously the radar was relocated up there. That's like a perspex panel in front of the radar. Um, all this still works perfectly too. So. Um, Everything tech-wise, like the parking sensors, the radar, um, the camera I'd like to adjust a little bit. This is the camera view now, looking through the front, so look, you can still see what's in front of you, but not directly. Obviously, you see the bull bar comes up in the screen, so I might play around with that camera, see if I can move it forward, see if I can change it a little bit. But other than that, like, it all works. So I did play around with the spacing of the spotlights a little bit. Um, don't get me wrong, I used some of the factory holes, but... We just stepped them over one bolt hole, so I think they sit good, I like them, but 
as always, let me know. I'm happy to hear your thoughts. <laughs> I'll put a couple of photos up in a Facebook group and this is where I learned that people didn't really like them. <laughs> but to address a few of the comments, because these are things that never cross my mind. So the main reason that people didn't like this tiny little, let's call it the Bermuda Triangle through, you've got a straight edge there, the curve through the, under the headlight and then this flat edge. So that sort of little triangle piece there, People didn't like that the bar didn't follow the lines. For me, I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't care less. That's the most insignificant issue for me. So, um, look, I get that there are a lot of people out there that want a real pretty four wheel drive, but that's that's not who I am. I'm, I'm a bit rough, so that's, that's okay for me. But I definitely understand that that might not be for you and you might need to have that pretty line. And that's cool, that's fine. <laughs> that's, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. So one of the comments I got when I also put that post up was, it's a flimsy piece of shit, which I laughed at, right? Because it is so far from flimsy, it's not funny, but I understand people's opinion of these bars and, and that's cool. They're entitled to that opinion, but my opinion, right? The majority of the bars, three mil steel, all the winch cradles, probably something to the likes of five to six. Um, all the wings are bolstered, they've got extra bracketry in them, stuff like that. So flimsy, it's, it's far from. But to have someone try and tell me they're inferior quality, I'm sorry, at this point, I'm not believing it. But don't get me wrong, if I manage to break it, bend it, whatever, I'll 100% let you guys know. But right here and here, I think it's no less a quality than any other bar this style on the market. So one thing I do like, which it's hard to capture on video, is there's a couple of different angles on the wings. We've got that angle through there, that angle which is slightly tapered in for the wheel, so the top sort of sticks out past the wheel, then it tapers. Might be easier to show on this side. So we've got a few different angles, right? So the bar actually sticks out past the car a little bit. So if you wanted to put flares on, you could, but without flares, I don't think it looks that bad. One of the main reasons I went the off-road animal as well is part of the back bracketry is they've got recovery points. It should just be a standard feature of bull bars, really. Um, another thing I do like about it as well is where my finger is there, that was the bottom of the grill. So it's shortened the grill up. But yeah, I, I, for me, I like that it's shortened the grill up. I like the look of that. But yeah, as far as the lines go, I like the lines of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry to everyone who's upset about that curve through there about it not matching. <laughs> I'm sorry that eat you up. Anyway. <laughs> I'm starting to see a lot of painted bars around as well. So I'm starting to think maybe I should paint it. <laughs> but again, I've never been a pretty four wheel drive kind of person. Like black bar work, it doesn't phase me because if you brush it against a rock or whatever, it's you just move on with life. You don't get upset about it. I don't know, I've seen a lot of painted ones. I reckon they look good. I've got this gap here for a light bar. Originally I was just gonna blank it off because um, reality is the, the Type X Pros are a bloody great spotlight and they provide heaps of light. I'm starting to think maybe just because there is a hole here that maybe I do need to put a light bar in it. So, love to hear your thoughts. So let me know about that. What do you reckon? Blank it off or put a light bar in it? Either way, need to do something with it. That's my Fred Animal Bar. I love it. I know a lot of people out there didn't like it. Um, you know, that was a shock for me, but I guess there's a lot more pretty boys with the Y62 that would rather the clean lines, whereas me, I'm a bit more abrasive and a bit rougher. That's that's just who I am. Um, look, the, the aggressive lines of it and that, I, I think it's good. I like it. Um, I like the nice big upswept wings. I like having a heap of tyre exposed. Once the lift goes in, so the suspension's happening very soon, um, again, it'll change the look of the front of the car. But for me, I think it's good. Of course, there are a heap of great bar options for a Y62. Me, personally, this is what I like. Um, right now there's not a heap of them around it's not to say there won't be as always feel free to comment your opinions below if you like what you see feel free to subscribe and until next time guys go travel